Federal agencies are investigating how state-backed Chinese hackers managed to break through Microsoft's security. Those hackers accessed the email accounts of multiple government agencies, including the state and the Commerce Department. One account even belonged to a cabinet member. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from Washington. U.S. officials are scrambling to contain the fallout from a hack they say was based in China that breached Microsoft's cloud-based security, which holds Outlook email accounts for numerous U.S. agencies that deal with China. We took it very, very seriously, and we're obviously taking a fresh look at our systems uh, and our cloud computing uh, capabilities uh, to make sure we can uh, be more resilient in the future. ABC News confirming the Microsoft Outlook email accounts for the state and commerce departments were targeted and includes breaches and Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo's account starting in May, just before Secretary of State Antony Blinken traveled to China. The attack went undetected for about a month. They had over 30 days before it was even reported and almost another 30 days before it was fully mitigated. So this is a very long period of time to gain access. Sources say the group of Chinese hackers zeroed in on unclassified email systems and is unlikely to have gained any high value information. Microsoft saying email data from 25 organizations was exposed. And experts say the threat is growing. But cybersecurity professionals say there is a way to stop these attacks sooner. Artificial intelligence and machine learning can do it much faster. So instead of detecting it in 30 days, we should have detected it in 30 milliseconds. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesman responded to the claim, saying it will never change the fact that the United States is the world's largest hacker empire. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen hailed progress between the U.S. and China after returning from Beijing this week. But relations remain volatile as the two nations remain far apart on core matters, including security and trade. In Washington, M. Wynn, Channel 6 Action News.